Hi guys, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Shadows of the Damned. This is a very immature game, but it's very fun. Um, it's kind of like a mixture of Resident Evil 4 and I don't know with the humor of Duke Nukem if you can imagine that but we'll skip it hopefully we can start a new game yes we can I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter my videos tend to show up a little bit too dark on YouTube I think in my professional opinion I really don't care about that actually let's just continue um if the sound kinda sounds familiar the same composer that does the at least the first three Silent Hill games actually did the soundtrack for this game which is really cool the reason why this game might come off as slightly immature because the same people who did lollipop chainsaw um, amongst other immature games I think um, no more heroes they're all fun games but I mean they're immature teamed up with the creator of Resident Evil so they collaborated and then the person who did the sound of Silent Hill actually composed this game and I guess did the sound effects and everything so you have this mishmash of great game um not that popular more people should play it I highly recommend it usually I get to tell you it's free on PlayStation Plus but it's not but you probably can get it fairly cheap so you play as a demon hunter kinda has the immaturity of Duke Nukem and a little bit of, of From Dust Till Dawn but more Duke Nukem cause From Dust Till Dawn is still kinda cool you don't get a dick gun in this though unfortunately like there is an on From to Dust Till Dawn If you don't understand that reference, just move along or watch the movie. They like made a lot of sequels of that movie, at least a couple. I never saw them, I just saw the first movie. You only need to see the first movie. I think the other ones were like direct to video. Can I skip this? I really don't want to hear what you have to say because it's not important to me. One thing I will tell you I don't like about this game, or any game for that matter, is when they force you to watch the fucking cutscenes. I think it's bullshit. I know they worked hard on it, but I worked hard to make the money to buy the game as you would too should have the option to skip a damn cutscene. This isn't 1992 where they're a spectacle because it's the CD-ROM format's fairly new. That's all I have to say about that. I love that little mannequin deal and the little song that it plays. It kind of reminds me of Castlevania when he's like Walking across the screen, you see like the castle map in the background. Yeah, exactly that. I was hesitant to start a new game because of the damn cutscenes. Playing with the PlayStation 4 controller. If you have the ability, I definitely recommend playing this on your PlayStation 3 with a PlayStation 4 controller because the aiming is a little bit finicky and I don't think the controls are tight enough. 
Also, if you have a 360, I believe this is on the 360, then you don't have to worry about that. But this is compatible with the PlayStation 4 controller. I find myself using the PlayStation 4 controller for some of these PlayStation 3 games that have first person controls or first person like controls more and more just because the PlayStation 4 controller the analog sticks are just better they're a lot tighter the radius is um, a little bit smaller so you can aim a little bit more precise so you gotta first shoot these guys with light Or not. Maybe that's some of the guys that are coded. I can't remember. Again, I'm playing a game I haven't played in a long time that I've always meant to finish that I didn't. This guy's kind of like Constantine where he can see demons and go in between the normal world and the hell world. Tighten up the controls a little bit. Some people like loose controls, I don't. That makes me turn a little bit um, slow. So be it. When ammo is scarce, which it really isn't all that scarce in this game. I don't want to waste it. I'd rather turn slower. Because I'm going to die if I can't shoot at the guys anyway, so whatever. I'm the worst shot known to me. But I was just playing Metro last light. I've been trying to get a few videos knocked out on one go. And every game has its own physics. Controls. I'm so disoriented. I don't know which way to go. Blood looks like the wrong color to me, but that might just be because I'm colorblind. It almost looks like Hawaiian Punch. It's not dark enough, but I did turn the gamma up, but I don't think that'd make a huge difference. As you can see, the designs on this game are somewhat unique. So if you haven't guessed it already, that's the main bad guy. As far as I know, like I said, this is one of the games that I played through pretty far and then quit midway probably and play something else. There's a lot of cheesy innuendo jokes on here, but the gameplay is fun. You you forgive it and. If you have like a ten year old boy sense of humor, you'll you'll it'll be right up your alley. Like if I was ten, I'd probably think this game was hilarious and controversial and the most badass thing ever. But as an adult, I think it it's a fun, cool game and I think you should play it. Hopefully he'll shut the fuck up soon so I can play more. Well, that's hoping pretty hard. Because he's still running his mouth. I will admit you're a fucking asshole. How's that for a name? So be it. A place for Walter has now been set in my table, mortal. You cannot have her back now. I really don't know what to say when I just 
watch the screen that's why I hate filming videos and doing commentary over them so I'm sorry for the pause luckily you have these fantastic subtitles thank goodness they were on so if I'm not talking you can read the subtitles and everybody's happy I get like four heads, actually three heads. Take that back. I seriously doubt pushing him out the window is really going to do something. That and he has a portal behind him. Luckily the rest of the game isn't like this with all the cutscenes. But I felt like it, I had to start from the beginning instead of like in the middle of the game. Especially everybody will piss and moan, oh you're spoiling it for me. No I'm not. I'm running my mouth over the game. You probably won't even be able to pay attention because everything I say is so interesting. You're not going to keep up with the plot in any way. So he has a gun named Johnson. How creative. How mature. That little skull guy. I don't know if you guys ever played the old game Shadow Man on the. Um, it was on the pl original PlayStation. That version was awful. And then there was a good version on the Nintendo 64, a really, really good version on the Dreamcast, and a, I guess the PC would have been equal to the Dreamcast version. And there was like a skeleton guy, except I think he had an Irish or Scottish accent, and he was like a skeleton guy that was kind of like a worm that protected like the gates of the nether realm, if I remember correctly. It's been so long. And it was kind of the same concept where, like, the guy could go in between worlds and he had to find, like, famous serial killers like Jack the Ripper and whatnot. It was, like, a maze game that was in 3D, kind of like Metroid. It's actually a pretty cool game. They came out with a sequel on PlayStation 2, but that one wasn't that great. And then Shadow Man was never heard from again. At least in video game form. I know it was originally based on a comic book. Great, he's driving a motorcycle. Can you let me play the damn game? I can't believe that it just took me to a menu. <laughs> Slow down the aiming a little bit. Video is already probably long enough. Whatever. I'll make it a little bit slower. Confirm. Yes. This is what I want. Let's start the game. I thought we already did that. We played on Media. A little too scared to play it on the hard difficulty. Plus, I don't want to embarrass myself more than I probably already have. And this is even more like the Castlevania screen. Okay, let's play. He's anxious, he's flashing. Come on now. He's freaking flashing. That means he's anxious. I know. I know mannequins. I understand them. Wasn't that a shitty Katy Perry song or something? I don't even know. I used to have a job driving a truck. Katy Perry would always come on because I couldn't put in my own CDs. They just had a radio, so I had to listen to whatever was on the radio. Man, I hated that job. 
But that's a different story for a different day. This is your old barrio, right, Johnson? Then you can be my tour guide. Me? But I quit the whole demon thing ages ago, and really, my memory is absolutely rubbish. I was a truck driver sure and like an information time. specialist yeah, that amigo. had to this run to be a library of like road movie. thousands and thousands is, of tapes that contained like important information and like keep them in order and scan them and deliver them and put them in a library and it was a nightmare and I hated every second of it and there was days where I came in at 7 o'clock and I didn't get to leave till 1 o'clock in the morning meanwhile I get phone calls from a friend what are you doing we're partying when are you coming home fucking sucked and then all I wanted to do was play video games and I was trying to be the nice roommate not say shit because they were playing my um, PlayStation and that's all I wanted to do Just go home chill play the PlayStation because I knew I'd have to go back to that shit job the next day and instead I watch YouTube and that's how I got interested in YouTube so there's a happy ending to that story I guess so now I'm making That's videos right, that hopefully you like you if not I'm sorry the name but you probably should subscribe to my channel and like this video anyway just to support me because I sound like a sad old person Johnson, what the hell is that thing? Holy cow! I don't believe it! Willie! That's one I will we'll play a little bit more and then call it a day. This is a very hard game to make a short video of. I've made several other attempts of recording this game. And they never turn out well because of that. But there's like stuff I can't show you unless I play through at least the first portion of the game which kind of blows I can light that up for you light shot of course give it a try G I'm gonna shoot this with my light there did I brighten your day what can I say, Johnson? Here you are right we are, born so to be kings. To We're the kings. princes sure of the universe. Sorry, I just felt so empowered when I did that. Oh, uh, a gaggle of corpses. Corpse is a gaggle? I'm not sure. Shoot them in the head. They're not zombies. But they go by zombie rules. We got the dark ones. Save up those white gems, G. If you shoot them with the light shot, they pause. What's the melee attack button? Because I wasn't paying attention. Alright, it's so Dickhead. Now you're gonna pay. I hope. Pay, damn it. Pay. When I first played this game, I, well, not when I first played, I had to play it for a while. I got super accurate with it, but not even with the PlayStation 4 controller can help me now. Here. I'm gonna rely on this light, light shot like nobody's business. If I try playing Resident Evil 4 right now, judging from this, I don't think I could do it. He sounds like a real dick, Tater. Forgot what the action button is, but I don't think that door works anyway. So it's a waste of time. I guess that's the action button, that big square in the middle of the screen. Johnson, why is there a 
goat head hanging on the wall. Oh, well, everybody knows that goats are a source of light. Right, of course. I can't remember if there's shit in the barrels or not. Of course there's not shit, but you know. Oh look, those bodies have physics. Poor tyke. Most new arrivals in the underworld are condemned to guard doors like this. So instead of having keys, you have these little babies that are at the door. That kinda looks like something HR Giger designed. Except there's not a penis hidden in it, as far as I know. If you're not in the know, H.R. Giger usually adds genitalia hidden in his paintings, sometimes not so much hidden. I know, I, I gotta backtrack, I guess. And if you're really, really not in the know, H.R. Giger invented, well, basically, I mean, with the help of Ridley Scott, designed the Xenomorph, an alien, and, like, the space shock, and basically most of the sets. He actually helped a little bit with Prometheus, but that's nothing to be too proud about. I mean, I'd be proud if I made any movie, but, I mean, if you're a famous director, I mean, I wouldn't put that on the top of my resume. Where the hell is the thing that I need to get for the stupid little fucking baby? Garcia? Huh? Paula? Oh. Come back! I had to talk to the baby first. I'm used to playing further in the game, except I have the skill level of not playing this game at all because I haven't played it in Easy, so long. G. This place is full of deceptions and dirty tricks. It is hell. Or something like it. If you look at the alien, you can tell its head's kind of phallic. The design that they actually originally looked at, I think it was in the book that H.R. Giger did called Necronomicon. There is a two or three Necronomicon books that he did, and they all had different designs in them. They're kind of like designs and nightmares, really. And, um... There was like a picture of like this alien. It looks different than the alien that's in the hey, film, but you could obviously tell it's an alien. But its head was a lot more foul. Like, oh, gee, you fairy squanderer. Even though the alien is already kind of phallic as ah, it is. At least there's one good thing about the underworld. What liver damage? That's the beauty of it. In the underworld, you don't die from drinks. They unkill people here. Yep. In the underworld, you can drink as much as you want because it unkills you, as it just said. Oh, but you know, I want to tell you anyway. Feels good. I love how he smashes those things. The, those things, those bottles. Alright. Let's go through this door. It's a little gross. One time I went to the river and they have urinals there so you don't piss in public and um piss in public man i sound like a class act and anyway the inside of the urinal looked like that and i got pretty uh -oh. i was, I was like i'll this. hold it what? why is it suddenly getting dark this isn't ordinary darkness i'll like go to the local wawa which is convenient smart i buy so it is just so i could use their bathroom i'm not even just seeing that probably contaminated my eyes shit where is that goat i know use the light shot but i was running my mouth about the porta potty now it's draining my health Man, ADD such a bitch. How did you not know? Some demon hunter, I say. 
or if you want to sound the fuck a horse to unlock a door there we go drink up if you want to sound more sophisticated you could say attention deficit disorder I'll impress your friends more so than any card trick you could possibly do Alright, I'm going to stop here. I think you saw enough of this game to know what it's all about. Definitely recommend it. Shadows of the Damned are probably cheap as all damn or I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that comment. But probably pretty affordable. Nobody made a terribly huge fuss about it. So, you know. It's one of those things that you might find in a bargain bin and you'd be happy that you purchased it. You saw it. Decide for yourself. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye.